we now have uh, the third major hurricane of this Atlantic season. Jose just announced now is a category three hurricane, 120 mile per hour winds, and it's about 600 miles east of the Lesser Antilles. Of course, where Irma came over just a couple days ago. It looks like sometime late Friday into early Saturday, it's going to move over very close to Barbuda and the islands that were took a direct hit from Irma before it turns off to sea. Let me show you Irma's uh, path. That's where it is right now. And this, this is where they cross paths just off to the east of the Lesser Antilles. And, and look how close it gets to the northern parts of that island change before going up to the north. And, you know, they have it going up towards Bermuda. I am very suspect of that path because I, I think it might get stuck somewhere right here and then try to make its way west. We'll keep close watch to the third major hurricane of the season. Of course, this is the biggest hurricane of the season, at least so far. I'm sorry, before we get to Irma, let's talk about the other hurricane. This is the one that is down in the Gulf of Mexico, Mexico Cadia. It's not moving right now, just stationary. It's got 80 mile per hour winds. It's going to probably come on shore north of Veracruz as a category two hurricane and then get into the mountains and, dis and dissipate, bringing tremendous rains there and damage because of the rains. Okay, now let's talk about Irma, the strongest hurricane of the season so far. It's 40 miles now away from the Turks. Caicos Islands, and it looks like this side, the, the worst side of the eye wall, and the hurricane is going to make its way right over that island chain. So it's going to be a very bad night there as it's continued to make its way. It's stayed about 80 miles offshore, Dominican Republic, and fortunately pulling away from Haiti as it takes its track now into the Bahamas once it gets past the Turks Caicos. Let's put it in perspective the size of this hurricane. I drew an outline over Texas. Let's put it over Irma, and you can see it pretty much fills up the state. Here's another frightening look at uh, comparing it with Andrew. The last Category 5 hurricane hit Florida August 24th, 1992. That's about its size. Look at the size of Irma. So the difference between a hammer and a sledgehammer. We do have hurricane watches of Florida and hurricane warnings for the Bahamas uh, that are out because of Irma. And the track right now, as you can see, is for Miami, South Florida, then up the peninsula. It'll go this weekend, probably getting to Miami in the overnight hours heading into Sunday morning. Now, I wanted to show you this. This is all the computer models. We've been doing this the last couple of days. We call this the spaghetti plot. And you can see because of all these paths. But what you see is more on this side of the path than that side of the directed path. So we're going to keep a close watch on that. By the way, this morning, 61 degrees at DFW, the coldest morning since May 25th. 50 in Denton actually got to 49 at Alliance Airport. It was a cool morning. It was a great day, a lot of sunshine. Temperatures will be falling to the 70s this evening, so get out and enjoy it. It's clear. Get outside. It's beautiful out there. And the local forecast, we haven't had to talk much about it over the last couple of days. This weekend, it's going to be upper 80s both days and sunny skies. Overnight lows, mid 60s. Humidity not really coming back until after the weekend, and we'll warm up a little bit next week. Diane.